Dear Sherlock Holmes, thank you so much for your interest in this affair. Finally, I have found some peace after knowing that the matter of the disappearance of my father, Lord Monkgar, six months ago, is now being investigated by you, my saviour. I know that you will find the truth, and you will tell me exactly what happened to my father. Your sincerely, your devoted future cousin, Elizabeth Monkgar. P.S. Please, I beg you to keep this business a secret. I really don't want your dear cousin Andrew, whom I'm going to marry very soon, to find out about it. It is very fortunate that Watson is away. I'll be able to make inquiry and keep it secret as my cousin wished. Mr. Sherlock Holmes, I suppose. Here is a letter for you from your cousin, Elizabeth Montcalf. Thank you very much. Good luck, Mr. Holmes. So it is the manor of Lord Montcalf. Seems no one is at home. I'll try to find evidence proving his death and report them to my cousin, Elizabeth. I'll solve that case before leaving. I should read the letter from Elizabeth again. Incredible, it is a real museum. I'll go upstairs later. It is obvious. I need a key to open that door. This is the mummy of Kai Peset, priest of the Tom. I didn't know that Lord Moncalf had such archaeological treasures at home. These tools might be helpful. It's illegible. All these pieces must have been taken from the tomb of the priest. Again, a room full of Egyptian relics. Does Lord Moncalf have a big collection? It must be a knife for sacrifices. This is the statue of Amenophis. It's well protected. Is there a mummy inside? A piece of bandage. Somebody is wounded or... This child is Elizabeth Motkamp. Why is such a nice photo hidden? Must be an extract from the Book of the Dead. Mm, burial urns. They were in the 
sarcophagi with the mummy. statue. The lock is old. I can simply break it. I could break the key in it. I need to oil it first. Unlock. A mummy. Quite an unusual inhabitant of a manor. Let's take a closer look at these boxes. Closed. I'll need something to open the lock on this cupboard. bottle. At least I won't die of thirst. Trick of Lord Marcap. Let's test my knowledge of Egyptian mythology. Interesting, but I don't have time for reading. These documents about Lord Motcalf are very peculiar. Let's see if I can find more. Some pages have been torn out. I do not see anything interesting. Strange system. Mm -hmm. 
I need something else. I need something else. These books are heavy. I cannot walk around with them. I need something else. Miss Montcalf wanted me to clean up a bit. She could have just asked me before. There are so many books. Lord Montcalf must have had a lot of time to read all of them. It's impossible to push this door. I wonder if it could be done only from the other side. It's locked. locked behind me. I can't return. This book is in the right place. What can I do with the other one? I need something else. Simplicity itself!
No doubt. It is Lord Moncalf's study room. What a mess. Someone was looking for something here. The blackboard. Everything has been erased. I need something to open it. What is this spyglass for? Is right. Someone is wandering around the house. In that case, who opened the door for me? Who lit that fire? It's obvious that this manor is not as empty as it is supposed to be. I need something to open it. It could prove useful. This old gun might be dangerous. Okay, he was the one who wanted to get the Montcalf treasure. Lord Montcalf didn't like him so much. Okay, I won't force it. This door is locked. I can see the key in the lock. I should find something to push it out. This water is still warm. Someone took a bath not so long ago. Sand? Well, Mumphis 11 seems to have gone for a walk. Strange, there's sand here. Here is the whole collection of Lord Montcalf. I see valuable objects which I have not seen on the ground floor.
This register is fake. Lord Montcalf is trying to hide something. Some items I saw in the photos are not registered here, except for the items of no historical value. Nothing! Lord Muncalf loved beautiful pipes, just like me. This cleaner is solid, but it's used to clean very strange pipes. I need something to open it. This door is locked. I can see the key in the lock. I should find something to push it out. The lock is rusty. Besides, if the key falls too far, I'll have no way of grabbing. Ah, this door is locked. I can see the key in the lock. I should find... The lock is rusty. Besides, if the key falls too far, I'll have no way of grabbing. I hope it's large enough. Lucky me! It's locked. Where am I? In London or in Cairo? is makeup. I can use it as a disguise to look older. If it's an encrypted message, I'll need to learn the Egyptian language very quickly. No, I need something long. There's something on the blade of the fan.
This statue is not ancient. I do not like weapons which I don't know. I will not take it with me. must protect a lot of treasure if they are guarded so well. Elizabeth didn't tell me that she had studied archaeology. Okay, I won't force it. It's very nice, but it has no value. It's fake. Aha! Uh -huh. Lord Moncarf in Egypt. I wonder who the people standing by him are. Statue is not ancient. Bingo. Hmm. I wonder who lit that candle. Someone had dinner here a few hours ago. Somebody is using this room to sleep in. Who could it be? Maybe it's the butler who opened the door for me. That's strange. I have to examine it more closely. Mudcalf had good taste. Look, there's some gin hidden behind these bottles. 
interesting. The bottom seems to be made to fit to circular objects. Bingo. It is echoing. There is a room behind. How can I open this wall? This sand is not coming from that room. There's something behind this wall.
I must prepare a torch before going further. something to open it. Is it the statue stolen from the ambassador? Strange. seems to be really interested in the esoteric and mysticism. I see here a book called The Book of Sacred Magic, Isis Unveiled and Imblavat. It's just what I thought. These new bandages are just like the ones we found before. It's almost empty, but I can use it anyway. It's just what I thought. These new bandages are just like the ones we found before. suffering. There's enough here to heal an army. Hmm, Lord Danum. Lord Mutcap was suffering. There's enough here to heal an army. I need a key to open this door. It's too high. Thank 
I need something else. Nice statue. Another statuette? Maybe I'll find more here. It's locked. I need a key to open this door. It's just what I thought. These new bandages are just like the ones we found before. It is evidence that I can use in the future. I need a key to open this door. Hmm, the lock is so rusty I could break the key in it. I need to oil it first. All these things were waiting to be restored. It will be better than that poor torch.
water is always useful. The panel is open. Another statuette? Maybe I'll find more here. to solve the mystery. Strange, the floor moves when I move. Is this some new trick? I hope it's not a trap. The panel is open. Here are the statuettes we were after.
seems like Brahman is the key to the mystery. If it's what I think, it's the same sand that I could see all around the house. This stone goes down when I'm on it. Is it a balance? Damn it! I do not have the fifth statuette oh, to lose after being so close to victory! In fact, it is pity, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Do not turn around. I am armed. Obey me. Hands up. I am watching you, and I am ready to shoot at any moment. Jonathan Parquet, you should be very glad to meet me. The despised nephew who is looking for the treasure. But I have to tell you, it's nothing compared to the payment I will get when I show the way to the inner sanctuary. I'm sorry to tell you that this time your deduction has fooled you. I have always been disgusted with people like you. And I will kill you, although I owe you a great deal. Do not move. Together we will see the untouched sanctuary of my uncle. My God, what an explosion! I fainted!
for Jonathan Parkey. The fifth statuette was in this bag. Interesting, it looks like a woman's purse. should be very careful. No, it is too far. I need something else. I hope the ring will hold me. It's too heavy to be moved. It's too heavy to be moved. I can use it as a weapon. Is it Jonathan's? Interesting. It feels like a powder keg. This place is dangerous, but it might be a good idea to take some with me. I can't put it like that in my bag. Here is a good reserve of gunpowder. to be number three. through this door. The chandelier is blocking the way. Everything is devastated. I need something else. I 
need something else. Good heavens, this room is on fire. Everything must be destroyed in there. There's no need to go in. I should find the clue. Was the mummy trying to burn the note? It was recently used. It means Lord Metcalf is alive. But who was he writing to? say something is hidden just behind it. A hairpin. I didn't see this woman's trinket when I came to the hall the first time. This is an absolutely dreadful document, but I have to examine it closer. Levers? What for? It's simplicity itself! Being here is very dangerous. I'll check other rooms. So much violent damage. I don't think it was caused by the explosion. have a message. I will take these hooks too. Mm, this glass was smashed by something very narrow. Like the heel of a woman's shoe? I see that someone has tried to cover his tracks. Was it done intentionally?
someone was looking for something hidden in that wall, but the madman was only able to reach the bottom of the wall. <sighs> Too much smoke. I can't stay here for a long time. <clears throat> find anything interesting here. This beautiful clock must be hiding something. Dangerous. I'll check other rooms. Locked! <coughs> Too much smoke. I can't stay here for a long time. <coughs> It must have been very powerful. Well, well, one more riddle from Lord Montcalf. What is in there? Something else. I need something else. 
I need something else. I need something else. I need something else. something else I need something else I need something else Thank you! Oh my god! You've activated the countdown of the Nobel bomb contrived by this malicious mummy! We'll all die and all doors are blocked! Lord Munkhuff, I suppose. Is it possible to disarm that machine? The last I noticed the devilish creature making this infernal machine, but I don't know how it works! My mama will be blown up! will be blown up! My mansion will be blown up! from the outside by the intruder. Mummy, 
is trying to kill us. This is the end. We're all going to die. My mansion will be blown up. I need something else. Else. This machine is producing electricity from the steam of this boiler and, rot and rotation of this fan. Fan. It is inspired by Faraday. I need something else. Else. I need something else. I need something else. I need something anything else. This machine is producing electricity from the steam of this boiler and rotation of this fan. It is inspired by Faraday. The mummy is trying to kill us! Looks like there's something in this pedestal.
Everything is locked. There must be a way to open them. the mummy which was here. An almost empty oil flask. Everything is locked. There must be a way to open them. It's empty. This axe is very sharp and heavy. Let's take this little bowl anyway. door is closed, but I will find nothing there.
need something else. Impossible to push this door. There's nothing to do there. will soon put burning oil right above the dynamite. This container is too firmly attached to be unlocked. Falling on the bomb, it lights the fuse for the dynamite and sets off the explosion. This high-pressure boiler is a clock bomb, but I can't stop it! Almost ready. I need something else. It's almost ready. I need something else. It's almost ready. It's almost ready. And now, let's hide, hide somewhere. Welcome, sirs. Now, ah, our party is complete. <laughs> My dear Holmes, I would have spared you a lot of unnecessary investigations. Lord Moncalf never killed himself. He was murdered by his cousin, Jonathan Parker. I had the chance to escape the same destiny. Would you be so kind as to tell me how you deduced it? Oh, yes. Well, I think you'd be surprised. After reading the message you sent to me explaining your absence, I made an inquiry on my side. I remember the well-known scientist, Lord Moncalf, and his shade. 
shady case, an unsolved robbery in which one of his cousins was involved. Uh, to tell you the truth, this man was not very honest. The police had quite a black record on him. After returning home, I found a letter. At first, I thought it was yours, but in fact, it was not signed by anybody. However, it confirmed all of my suspicions. Here, uh, have a look. I know that you are looking for truth in the disappearance of Lord Montcalf. The last mentioned was murdered by his cousin, uh, Jonathan Parquet. You will find the body of the deceased in his own manner, under the bandages of K. Parseth, mummy, and the guilty one on the place of crime, probably pillaging his uncle's collection. Yes, quite an interesting study. I am ready to reveal the mummy, but before I do, it's necessary to ask its master. Let me introduce you to Lord Montcalf. What does that mean? My dear Watson, your suspicions were not completely groundless. The only difference was that Lord Montcalf was never going to die. That is, really. But why on earth not? Father? Good heavens! Here is his daughter. What a coincidence, isn't it? Let me just run over the course of events, and you can contradict me if I go wrong. My charming soon-to-be cousin has asked me to investigate the disappearance of her father. For this reason, she invited me to study the mansion. In fact, the idea was much deeper. I'm very thankful to you, miss. I now have the evidence that the mummies can walk. Watson, do you know how mummies were made in Egypt? No, oh, indeed I do. They used bandages and balm. Can you explain what this joke is all about? Do you believe in ghosts, Watson? <laughs> of course not. Although they are really useful to move away the intruders. Jonathan Parquet didn't notice that and has lost his life. Is he dead? Indeed, Watson. Killed? by the mummy. Oh, come on, Holmes, you, you're joking. It has nothing to do with jokes. This manor that had to be empty was the meeting place for the whole family. A mummy, a lord, his cousin, his daughter, and your servant. All of them trying to kill each other. A charming company. In short, I think Miss Moncalf has lost a shred of her dress there, while Lord Moncalf, the most dead among us, is safe and sound. What are you trying to say? Dear cousin, I doubt that the mummy exists. In fact, if it had tried to kill Lord Moncalf, it would not have left human fingerprints on the gun as it has done. And by the way, I'm obliged to say that it was you who fired that gun. Your hand still has traces of the powder. Miss Moncalf dressed up as a mummy. This child loves so much her father that she decided to follow in his footsteps and a father refusing his daughter's vacation. Oh, here is a sad case of murder indeed. Then why was there a need for your services to make you guilty? Who would believe it? I thank you for your confidence, Watson. But Elizabeth didn't know her father was alive. Rather, she was looking for four statuettes he possessed. To find out the cause of death, I would have inevitably found these statuettes, which he had hidden in the manor. The only thing left was to kill me. And it was Jonathan's task, the cousin. And it was an easy task for him. Elizabeth and Jonathan? In a plot to kill and steal? There are families where murder doesn't mean anything. Lord Moncalf is not so innocent in this case. He was not content with making everyone believe in his suicide. He filled his manor with deadly traps, and he hid in his caves the most valuable archaeological pieces that he saves for his own private use. He's ready to kill to protect them. What stupidities! You're just a desecrator who's not even capable of understanding the priceless value of these pieces. However, I have never wished for their destruction. Nonsense! I know that you're taking me for an old fool. Everyone thinks I'm crazy, but I'm the only one here who really has his head on his shoulders. Do you think I didn't understand the meaning of this bloody ballet around the statuette? I understand your distress as you realize the combination of the five statuettes that you hold could free the evil forces. But you have already taken a gruesome way to death. You believe in reincarnation, then. Why not in immortality? Your paranoia has taken you into delusion, and your doctor's treatment has confused your judgment up to the point of disguising yourself as a living mummy and committing a murder. How can you make such accusations, and how can you believe such absurdities? Indeed, I don't believe at all in the power of these statuettes, as I don't believe in stories about curses. But I know a sect whose members were ready to kill to get them back. One of the executors was Parquet. Scoundrel! But their leader is Elizabeth Montcalf. Lord Montcalf understood that, and in his madness he was divided into two. Into a living mummy to commit the thing that was against his blood instinct to destroy his daughter. What a tragedy. Human nature, Dr. Watson. You should see that every day in your patients and your vacations. 
Tell me, Madam Watson, did she have a good rest? Oh, yes, but keep in mind that these vacations were shortened by a strange case which began with some strange noise.